Hi everyone, welcome to the last video in this um, On With Flowers series from Summer Nights by Hannah Carlson. Sadly we have the last flower. I'm quite sad, I've been really enjoying um, doing these. And here it is, it's a fairly plain and simple flower. Let's come in nice and close to you, there we go. Now I decided that I would do this one in um, sort of pinks. Now we've got a red and we've got a salmony pink, so I thought we would use the sort of um brighter pink maybe that's the right word um i am gonna start with the fuchsia so quite bright and i'm gonna go from dark to light in the center so a little bit different on this one again i'm trying to mix it up with all of them so you get lots of different ideas on how to color flowers so i'm gonna start here um i'm not gonna do that flappy over bit we'll do that a little bit later so I'm going to really put some intense layer on this end so it looks really deep colour and then start to fade it I've got three different pinks that I'm going to be using here so this being my first so I need to be aware of how much space I want to leave going to fade it down as I said towards the middle so I might just start to reduce quite significantly here there we go and then the same with this one I'm just going to fiddle out just making sure that the paper that I've got tucked behind the page is all the way to the edge um, sometimes it slips out and if it slips out too far you get a little ridge when you're colouring you've probably noticed because I assume that you all um, do put a piece of paper behind when you're colouring um, I don't tend to do it on single sided books because if there's any um, transfer of colour it's onto the blank page or whatever so I don't mind too much but on a double any double sided book I always put a piece of paper behind just to reduce that like that it doesn't matter if it isn't perfectly neat if it's a bit scruffy we can always tidy it up later um, it's uh, and add more layers this is just our very initial part now these pinks aren't my favorite um, I'm I've always said I'm not really a pinky person but I have got into pinks a little bit more since colouring World of Flowers actually quite a long time ago I sort of got a little bit more into pink because you know flowers and pink it just feels like the thing um, but these pinks maybe not so much so although this is a new fuchsia as you can it's quite a long pencil I have got through one um, and I'm not I don't get through polychromos that quickly because um, although I use them a lot um, they are quite hard so it takes a while to run one down um, unlike things like prismas which um, I get through a lot more quickly um, yeah so I prefer the carmines it's a slightly more ready and the sort of um, salmony flesh tones the coral the salmon the beige red those sorts of tones well beige red isn't really pink sorry I don't know what's happened to my voice <laughs> Uh, it's decided to disappear um, I haven't had a sore throat or anything so I don't know but yeah I have a bit of a sinusy thing going on but I don't think that would affect my throat but anyway I don't know maybe it's just morning voice <laughs> but um, it, it's my second video of the morning now so I don't know <laughs> anyway it's quite funny I think <laughs> so just sort of fading it down like that. Now, next we're going to use the, this is the light purple pink. Okay, um, I think it's sharp enough. I don't really need mega sharp pencils for this because not getting into too much detail. So I'm going to start where I started to fade the, the uh, fuchsia and just bring it down a little bit further. Not too much further. So, okay, just gently increasing the intensity of colour. We don't want it. We want to see a, a fade in our colour if we can. 
Though flowers will often stop and they'll have quite a... Um, so if this bit round here was white, it would just suddenly stop and become white. There wouldn't be a fade, but I just think when you're colouring it does look nicer. It's up to you. <clears throat> and if you've got a photo of a flower that you're copying, then obviously you can do it exactly as it's shown there. Go. And our final colour does need sharpening. It is the Pink Madder Lake. I use these three together a lot. They seem to be good friends, if that makes sense. They work really well together. Pink Madder Lake. I didn't realise it had been raining this morning, but there's. I'm looking out of the window. I've just peeked up. And uh, the raindrops on the window are uh, shining in the sunshine. <laughs> I'm going to take it right to the centre now, but quite light. I don't want it too dark. Just checking that that gradient pleases me. Okay. You can, um, if there's any bits you've missed, or you've got to go down there, or anything that doesn't quite look right, this is the point where you can go over it. You can use this pencil, or you can go back to one of your darker ones if you feel that it needs it. I'm actually okay with what I've done so far, surprisingly. <clears throat> I often am fussy and find little bits that need changing. Do this one. Put it in there. I have um Actually, I'm telling telling you this, and you may already know. I've sent off for a, for a little postcard book to show you. Um, so I'm, you can see what I'm doing. I'm just colouring these in really lightly. I'm going to think about how to do them in a bit. Um, I uh, someone told me um, quite a while ago. I'm just going to do the dark, the edge a bit darker. That there's a German postcard book for small victories. Now, we don't tend to get English language postcard books um, for Johanna Basford books um, anymore. I think um, I think they just don't sell very well in the UK. This is the middle purple pink, and I'm going to use it for the center. I'm going to make in the, these a bit darker in the middle and lighter to the tip. Um, and um, um, and uh, sorry, I'm distracted by talking. Huh? Sorry, there were conversations about the um, distribution of chores in the house, which I needed to get involved with. Uh, right. So there's that, but there's not really dark enough for me to sort of show up. So I'm going to use the red violet just to do the very centre, which is a bit blunt. No, the postcard book, I don't think they sell very well in the UK, but I've ordered one to do a flip through. And actually, it probably would have gone out before this video. I only want a little dash in the middle here. Um, and... Um, um, so I thought I would show you it because I need some postcards, <laughs> basically. This is Payne's Grey and I'm going to do a bit of shadow under these bits. Excuse me. Because um, when my husband sells postcards in his Kofi shop, he... Um, oh, I've got hiccups now. Um, I put... Um, when he sells bookmarks, sorry, in his Kofi shop, Oh, he hasn't got any compliment slips, so I pop a postcard in with it to thank the person for their purchase. And so uh, I thought I'd get some more. And then I could show them to you and uh, have some to give away. There we go. I think they stand out a little more now. Now, I'm looking about, thinking about these 
turned over bits and I'm just going to put a bit of shadow under them. And no, I, the thing is yesterday um, I said to my boys, here's the pile of household chores if you're not working. You need to do those. And uh, they worked in the morning and then they didn't in the afternoon, but the chores didn't get done. So I wanted to just remind people today that I'm going to put a little bit here that, um, that when they stop work, there are chores to do, even if it's in the afternoon. So we'll see what happens. So the chores are being left to be done later on. It's not what we normally do. We normally get them done first thing. But then usually people aren't here. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. I don't know whether that was necessary, but I felt like I wanted to keep going. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm going to leave it alone now, it's through um, with the risk of spoiling it. But there we go. There is our last um, flower for the page, and um, let's have a look at the whole page. So if you've been colouring along, this is what it should look like. Let's take those papers out. Let's come right up so you can see all of it. There we go. There is what it should look like. So I had a lot of fun. Now it's a good, these sorts of pages are a great way to practice because you will find that there are flowers like this through the book. Um, and so now you've got some ideas on how to possibly colour them. Obviously you don't have to do that flower always in that method and that flower, but it, you know, it, it's a few different ideas, isn't it? So I enjoyed that. So thank you for watching all of you who've followed the whole series. I really do appreciate that. Um, please do give me a like and, uh, and subscribe if you haven't already. Um, makes a big difference to them, to how many people can see um, the channel. And uh, yeah, have a super day and happy colouring.